so the paper that was assigned to me was titled a dose of reality overcoming usability challenges in vr head mounted display uh, the authors were mark mcgill daniel boland roderick murray smith and stephen Wiercher, all from university of glasgow uk uh, the paper was published in Kai conference held in republic of korea in april 2015 so it is a relatively new paper it has a total citation of 47 and has 2140 downloads and upon look of citation it can be seen that the authors are continuing their work in this field over the last decade there has been resurgence in consumer vr the quality of vr experience has increased and the price for it has been decreased but there is a usability issue with head mounted display in vr uh, over a uh, usability survey conducted among 108 respondents uh, it was found out that uh, the users have been facing difficulty with interacting with reality and the awareness of reality is impeded when wearing the head mounted display. Also, it is frustrating to frequently remove the head mounted display to perform the action for the in the reality. So, this paper uh, aims to quantify how well users can interact with reality uh, how they can improve users capability to interact with reality and how they can uh, improve users awareness of reality so to tackle each of those uh, aims aim, uh, they conducted three different study the study one was regarding typing keyboard keyboard was chosen because it was it is familiar and most commonly used input device and it can be used on site and it has quantifiable met performance matrices like watt per minute accuracy etc so the expert of four conditions the baseline being the reality without vr virtuality with no keyboard view wearing head mounted display and augmented virtuality with only partial blending like uh, the uh, keyboards are only displayed when the hand is off for the keyboard and you tilted your head towards it and the augmented virtuality with uh, full blending where there was full view of reality of the keyboard so this figure shows it you can just pause on the video and look at it what each of those conditions mean so from the findings of the experiment, experiment it could be tell that uh, the there was 100% accuracy for the first key press uh, and really in under two seconds for the reality baseline for with VR with no blending they took um, they took equal amount of time but like with relatively low accuracy and that was because they they wanted to first find out the key like uh, place uh, find the correct placement for their hand in the keyboard and for the partial and full bending although they had some relatively full amount of accuracy the duration to keep press was slow because uh, the author explained it due to the latency over uh, the graphics rendered so th its conclusion was that uh, with, when, the VR, when the reality was incorporated in the virtual environment or in the virtual view, uh, then it helped the users perform better with the reality. And there was no performance, dif performance difference between partial and full blending. And the second study was interaction with objects. The users were provided to explore Tuscany Villa, a demo card quite common for the Oculus Rift and they were prompted to ask to interact with real life uh, objects like the keyboard, fake donut, cup, place around them. And in this uh, study, two manipulative factors were present. The blending factor uh, being minimal, partial, and full. Minimal means that only the, only the reality around your hand will be shown. And the partial means all the interactive, or, uh, all the interactive objects around your hand like the kelp like uh, the cop uh, the fake donut will be shown and the full means of all view of reality will be shown the control factors means that user user means that the user will be able to control a uh, user will be able to control uh, well by the pressure button when to blend in the reality and the infer means that uh, when the user move reach out their hands for the object and then look into it then the reality will be added on and again there was baseline for it like always when how did the user perform by keeping their 
by wearing the head mounted display all the time and by lifting their headset when they want to have a peek at the reality. So you can see this is the minimal bending only shown around the hand. This is the uh, partial bending and the full bending. So the four sets of measure, four sets of measures for this experiment was sense of presence, like how much immerse were they in the virtual environment, the workload for the user, the ranking, the preference of the user, and the distraction from the VR due to the blended reality in the virtual environment. So when looking at the sense of being there, we can see that the minimal and partial uh, blending perform better and the infer inferred control perform better same was for the ranking too and for the distraction there was minimal distraction in minimal and partial blending and in inferred control factor also there was less workload in inferred control as the user did not have to press any button the conclusion from this experiment was found out that uh, it was better to add any set any portion of reality than than not having any at all but also selectively incorporating necessary only necessary amounts of reality is better also inferring engagement with reality is really important as shown by the result the third study was to find out about the awareness of the users of with the others in the in reality environment so it want, we wanted to come it wanted to communicate like how to unobtrusively communicate the presence or and proximity of other other people around the user so that the user can wish to choose to engage if he wants to or not unlike objects people are moving and the initiation of in of interaction could be by directional like i like the user could talk to the other people or the other people could initiate the talk to the user so it should uh, allow both way for the experimental setup uh, the experimenter would repeatedly enter the room again and again while the users explore the Tuscany demo again and the and the three conditions were baseline by wearing the VR all the time and the low engagement like the uh, the presence of the other people were shown in a transparent ghost-like figure and full engagement means uh, opaque presence in virtuality and opaque figure of the user like it can be seen from these uh, figures and the measures were sense of presence distraction from reality social presence and comfort the conclusion was since there were more view more view of reality of course the awareness would be improved but however it was interesting that the low engagement state was as distracting as the high engagement state and it was not it was quite opposite to what the authors hypothesized and the participants the participants interview suggested that they should have rather incorporated a non-visual representation of the people like a text or queue but again it might uh, give away the sense of proximity there was no significant effect on sense of presence because uh, because yeah, that can be actually due to Slater's plausibility illusion because since they were the, the people were expecting people to be or people to be in the Tuscany villa so the appearance of the ghost like figure or the opaque figure aligned with the VR environment so the sense of presence remained in the virtual environment uh, the conclusion from this paper could be derived that incorporating reality detracts from VR experience but when there is a transition in the mixed reality continuum the user can better uh, handle with the reality or manage the things around him uh, so I really like this paper because uh, the authors presented their problem statement and backed up with their initial survey with the honor respondents is study targeted a specific question there was experimental setup which were well defined and each experiment has well defined baseline the measures used in each study and experiment was easy to understand and compare to and they also uh, cover different conditions to cover over the transition in mixed reality continuum as the use of both minimal and partial blending have them realize that only necessary amount of reality is enough also i really like the concept of post hoc interview after the which is after the experiment because it came it came to the new insight for the future work
But what I was resolved with was like they only had few numbers of participants and the diversity among the participants was really low like in terms of experience in VR too. They only used a single VR demo and the amount of tasks in VR, VR was really really low. Also the infra control may not perform always better than the user control. Downess with abstract cue like text, audio, etc. might not give a sense of proximity and its explanation to the participants could yield further response which could be insightful. The study through should have been conducted with different size of people in VR environment too because they, they, that will be less distracting. Uh, so my discussion question is that the authors were too much focused on the sense of presence. They should have conducted an experiment where they trade off the sense of presence for reality. Uh, previous, in previous ex experiment, the person size and sense of proximity was relatively as exact as in real life. So I will try to minimize the size and put that uh, put that figures around only in the top corner of the virtual screen because that will uh, mean in less distraction lead to less distraction while giving the sense of awareness while it also takes away some sense of presence but I think uh, the trade-off could well worth it for the users. The second discussion question is that info factor is said to be better than the user control factor but it might not be always so. So to back this statement they should have conducted more experiment in more uh, for more type of virtual environments because in some kind of virtual environments it will have been difficult to distinguish between the action being performed for the virtual environment and and the gesture for triggering the blending of reality in the virtual environment so in that case user control might be preferable for the user and the last discussion question is that uh, the authors concluded that the minimal and partial dose of reality works equally well but it might not in all contexts. Some, sometimes the user might want a larger picture of reality to be incorporated in the virtual world while sometimes smaller. So an experiment should have been conducted to see, to give the users control over the amount of reality that they want and to see if it is a better idea to give the, to give the user the ability to control the amount of reality to blend in. So thank you.